Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Smith with Murphy Business of Cape Girardeau. I thought I'd just uh, take a couple minutes to uh, do a quick video about a question that we get all the time, which is, can I sell my business myself or do I really need a broker? Well, let me tell you what a broker does in the process and then you can decide if it's a DIY project for you or not. Um, first thing we're gonna do is determine whether or not the business is actually sellable. Some businesses are and some are not. Um, we're gonna help you decide whether that's a go or a no-go. Secondly, we're going to do a valuation, which will determine what the likely selling price is for the business. And you can decide if that's uh, something that you can live with or not. When we look at our valuations versus our actual sale prices, we're accurate plus or minus 3%. So um, our valuations here in this office are incredibly accurate. We're gonna prepare a listing agreement, which is just um, our um, agreement between the two of us um, as to what we will and won't do and, and commission rates and things like that. Once everything is signed, uh, we're gonna prepare a confidential memorandum, which is a very robust packet of information about your business that a buyer will receive after they've signed a non-disclosure agreement with us. So we wanna make sure that we protect the integrity of your data. Um, and also protect your private information. We're gonna market your business blindly and nationally. Um, like most things, uh, the internet is a great way to find buyers, so we're gonna do that uh, through all available channels. We're going to pre-qualify buyers. We're gonna eliminate those tire kickers or people that just simply can't afford to do the deal um, and make sure that we're only bringing people to the table and taking your time away from running your business with people that can actually uh, do the deal. Again, they will have signed a non-disclosure agreement, so these are very good confidential conversations. Once we're uh, confident that we have a good pre-qualified buyer, we're going to facilitate a buyer-seller meeting, either over the phone or in person. Once that's concluded and we're comfortable with that, we prepare an offer to purchase for a buyer. We facilitate all of the negotiations between the buyer and seller and get it under contract. Once that takes place, we facilitate the due diligence process using a virtual online deal room so that uh, all advisors have access to the data and the buyer and the seller have access to, to the data through the process. If the buyer needs financing, we help them shop financing and get that secured. And basically just assist in all of the issues and the bumps and the bruises that come along with trying to get a good deal done. Those are just kind of inevitable um, and we're quarterbacking the deal until it gets to the closing table. Once everything is uh, ready to go, we have a third-party closing attorney that we work with who charges a flat fee, a really very reasonable flat fee, to prepare our closing documents. <clears throat> and the buyer and seller usually split that fee. Um, and uh, we escrow all of the funds. So uh, we're in control of the money throughout the process. Uh, keeps everybody honest. And then we actually close the transaction and we facilitate uh, the payment to the seller. So um, those are the things at a very, very high level that a broker is gonna do for you in the process of selling your business. And uh, hopefully um, you can uh, take a look at your own situation and decide whether or not that's something that you want to try and take on while you're running your business. Um, if you would like to talk with us about whether or not your business is sellable, the valuation process, the selling process, or anything like that, um, it's absolutely no cost or obligation for a confidential conversation with us. Please reach out, uh, murphybusinessofcape.com. Again, I'm Jennifer Smith, Murphy Business of Cape Girardeau. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.